Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to build a business application using Cap for Java. Um, using the SAP Cloud application programming model, in this workflow we will be following the steps. Let's start. So here I just opened the business application studio and I am in the project directory to um, create a project uh, skeleton. I have to use that command. So this is the command to create a business application using Cap for Java. Uh, it's you can see the build success, but uh, in your case it might be uh, depends on your network. So basically, it uh, just created. A project this project uh, name is products service so now what you can do uh, if you use that you can see the projects product service um, is already created so you can go to directly like um, CD from here and you can also open open folder then project in this project product service click open open so here you can find that every cap project it create uh, basically three file on is the app db uh, and uh, service so basically uh, basically three module is always is created uh, on his app another is service and another is uh, db uh, but this project is created uh, only db and uh, service because in that project we actually create a service so now you can see the pom xml that is the uh, all metadata type of information is there uh, you can see that uh, it is the package.json which is required to build or compile the projects and uh, you can also see the db folder uh, currently it is uh, blank and also srb in that srb folder you can see the source main uh, java application dot java so it is also created uh, the main uh, main functions for that uh, java project so uh, everything actually ready uh, it, uh, when i execute that um, command actually it created everything so it also created some uh, resource related file ml file so now uh, this basic uh, skeleton is created for that uh, application now we need to create a service um, so service we always create a service under the service uh, folder so here I have to create a service just right click on that new file my service name is admin service enter so here um, i have to um, i have to create a service so that is always start with service service admin service then n entity products game it integer then title uh, string
description it can be it's just a simple service so in that um, example in the SAP tutorial uh, they create a entity here if you uh, if you create entity under the DB folder then here you just need to import so I have created the same as the SAP tutorial so this is done uh, I have created a skeleton of a application and after that I ha I have created that service so now I need to compile um, this uh, model so that is the reason if I go to the terminal new terminal so now I have to execute M uh, BN clean actually this is the um, first time activities um, if you already executed you don't need to execute second times but uh, first times you need to execute uh, this one so um, that is the same it will install some basic basic uh, packages uh, it is also depends on your uh, networks and it will create uh, some files and uh, some resource and uh, some packages so you can see the build is success uh, it is also show that um, duration the compile time everything is there so if build is success that means that um, your uh, applications is ready for run so now I, I can I can run that application so basically what it will run it will it will just run the model this Udata model so if I run so you have to always run from the product uh, service uh, just for make sure uh, just to make sure that we are in the current directory so now run so it will start let's see So you can see the open in new tab. So from here, say welcome to the CDS service. So this CDS service basically uh, the OData for version and this metadata and these products that is basically come from this table. So if I check the ID title and description that is all it is uh, coming from that uh, location and we can also see the products so everything is fine um, actually that is just a uh, sample um, uh, sample uh, data I mean that uh, uh, basically actually there is no data it's just a, a skeleton of the projects but we have to uh, build more and uh, you can also manually like uh, for example uh, you can also manually open that page so if you go to the view and come on so if you check that port preview you can see that 8080 is run for your project so if you click on that you can also open from here so basically in this tutorial um, I have created uh, the application skeleton 
then I have uh, defined service and then compile model and then run the application and uh, manually open the applications like how uh, you can open like from here the view and then common pattern and that is actually that is a manual uh, open application uh, then after that uh, inspect udata metadata like from here we can check everything is uh, correct along with this data and uh, in that uh, tutorial there is also some uh, troubleshooting related things uh, so you can also check and uh, in the next tutorial i will show you how to add uh, a custom event handler uh, thank you